But first, it's been one of the most significant nights in Australia's political history. Dumped former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd has been returned as Labor leader. His successor, Julia Gillard, overthrown, sending her political career into exile. Three years after he was ousted, Kevin Rudd is back. In 2007, the Australian people elected me to be their Prime Minister. That is a task that I resume today with humility, with honour and with an important sense of energy and purpose. Last night, the knives came out again. A snap ballot was called and Rudd got his revenge. Julia Gillard was toppled as Labor leader, 57 votes to 45. As you would uh, probably be aware by now, Kevin Rudd has been elected as leader of the Federal Parliamentary Labor Party. I congratulate Mr Rudd on his election. Miss Gillard will return to the back bench and leave politics altogether after the election, bringing to an end a tumultuous and an historic term as Prime Minister, plagued much, with Stephen. constant leadership speculation and government infighting. In accordance with the pledge I gave earlier today, I announced that I will not recontest the federal electorate of Lawler at the forthcoming federal election. I will have time in the coming weeks to be back home in my electorate and to say hello and goodbye to the community that I've had the absolute privilege of representing in this parliament since 1998. In her defeat speech, Julia Gillard thanked her colleagues as she looked back at her time in the top job. In the years in which I've served as Prime Minister, predominantly I have faced a minority parliament and I've also faced internal division within my political party. It has not been an easy environment to work in. Miss Gillard also spoke of her achievements. Disability care, education reform, putting a price on carbon and breaking through the ultimate glass ceiling. What I am absolutely confident of is it will be easier for the next woman and the woman after that and the woman after that and I'm proud of that. Her axing followed an explosive day in Canberra. Independent MPs Rob Oakeshott and Tony Windsor announced they were standing down. A caucus petition seeking a spill was circulated and a ballot was called. When news emerged former Gillard backer Bill Shorten had switched allegiances to Kevin Rudd, many thought the Prime Minister's fate was sealed. Now the coalition has to redraw its election campaign against a much more popular opponent. In 2007, you voted for Kevin and got Julia. In 2010, you voted for Julia and got Kevin. If you vote for the Labor Party in 2013, who knows who you'll end up with. Kevin Rudd is expected to visit the Governor-General this morning to make it official and be commissioned as Prime Minister. Reid Butler, Nine News.